everybody, welcome to um, Andy's Ale House. Welcome to Andy's Beer Reviews. Um, found this in a local beer there, I think I paid about £1.50 for it. It is a Monistair uh, Blonde, it comes at 6.5% ABV. I think I paid £1.50 for it. Now, £1.50 for uh, a Monastery Blonde is either going to be a really good buy or a bad buy. Not sure which yet. Um, it says crafted to an authentic recipe um, and I've read too much there traditional golden uh, abbey beer with a smooth and subtle sort of taste a light bitterness and delicious hints of vanilla and clove brewed under the license of the Crespin Abbey in France so it's a proper um, abbey beer it's not just uh, abbey beer. monastery or abbey beer it's not just got the name on there just for a laugh um, they are pumping money into the uh, the um, Abbey where it takes its name from. Right, let's get it out of the can, give it a glass. So we've got probably a big pint glass. Sounds like plenty of carbonation. there for those too much right so I lost a little bit there oh, I was bad losing beer isn't it so that has poured a light golden color it's got a good two finger foamy white head and there is plenty of carbonation that is pretty much crystal clear it's crystal clear hi um, yeah, looks good. I didn't get any aromas actually. I thought, I'll admit, I thought I was going to get some aromas. Uh, when you pour something like a, a left, lefty, wherever, uh, you tend to get a lot of aroma on the on the pour. I didn't get anything there. I thought I was going to. Let's see what the aromas like, shall we? It's green. It's malty. There is some spice in there, you can just get the hint of spice. And it's got that usual bubblegummy, yeasty aroma you expect from a kind of a wheat, wheat beer. Although I don't think looking at that, I don't think this is a wheat beer, but it's got that, must have that similar sort of yeast or yeast profile. Certainly got that bubblegummy aroma in there. Let's see what it tastes like then, shall we? Cheers, everyone. Okay, um, what have we got there? It's not too bad, um, certainly malty, certainly getting some of that um, yeast flavour through on the taste profile as well. Um, it did say vanilla and after the beer is washed away I am left with a little bit of a, a, bit of a, a vanilla flavour still in my mouth got a hint of citrus as well yeah we're drinking I can I can taste a little bit there's a little bit of lemony citrus in there as well it is quite sweet it's sweet than I thought it was going to be if I'm being honest There's a nice light bitterness at the back end, which is quite nice. It's pleasant, it's pleasant enough. For £1.50, it's, that's, that's not too bad. Uh, the authentic recipe, oh, let's have a look, see what, what's actually in it, shall we? Water, water malted barley, sugar, hops hop extract, coriander, orange peel, and no wheat, but it's got that wheat, uh, it's got that wheat profile. 
Uh, the authentic recipes of Monastery Abbey beers can be traced back to the ancient French monasteries. Uh, brewmasters still used a distinctive ale yeast, high quality barley malts and noble hops to create a range of beers with extraordinary taste, aroma and mouthfeel. Does quite just feel quite full in the mouth. I'll give them that. It's not, too, it's not too bad. I thought it was going to be um, an F.E. Um, kind of clone, but it's not. It's got its own little distinctive profile, distinctive feel to the beer. So it's not a, a clone of that sort of beer, which, which is quite nice. So it's very sweet. It is a very smooth beer as well. Like I said, it's got that light, bitter finish. It is, if I'm being honest, it's probably a little bit above average. I would probably buy it again though, if I'm being, if I'm being brutally honest. I'll tell you what it reminds me of. It reminds me of um, those cheap Euro lagers. That's what it makes me, that's what it makes me feel. I haven't chilled this um, set of conditions. But if it had been chilled, it, it just might. It, it is crisp, it is refreshing. On a hot summer's day, I'm sure it's going to be even more refreshing. Uh, chilled probably even more so but for me it's just slightly above average as a beer I think for me that um, it started off as a really like bitter finish which it has got but it's got that I'm not even say it's coriander. There's, there, there is a, a note of something. It might, it might actually be the coriander. Actually, to be fair, that that coriander aftertaste on this beer isn't particularly nice. I'm gonna score it five and a half out of ten. Big thumbs up if you like the video. Consider subscribing for daily beer reviews. If you've had this before, let me know in the comments what you thought about it. Cheers, everybody.